Hello and welcome to this video. So today we're gonna solve the problem reverse integer. In this problem we're given a sign at 32 bit integer and our task is to reverse the digits of the integer and return the result. For example if the input is 123 the output should be 321. If the input is negative 123 the output should be negative 321. First, in computer science, a 32-bit integer is a data type that can represent a wide range of full numbers from this number to this number. Means if the input integer was less than minus 2 to the power of 32 or greater than 2 to the power of 32 minus 1 is not a 32-bit signed integer. So how do we gonna solve this problem? So let's say for example we have an input integer 123. The first thing we're gonna do is to convert the integer to a string so we can easily access each individual character using an index and also we can easily concatenate strings using the plus operator. After that we initialize a variable called reversed string that gonna hold all the reversed string before we convert them to integers. Then we're gonna start iterating throughout the string and reverse it order mean we're gonna start from the last character and add each character to the beginning of the new string after we add all the characters to the string we're gonna convert the reverse string back to an integer and we return the reverse integer but what if the input integer was negative how do we gonna solve it? the first thing we're gonna do is to check if the input integer are negative if true we store the status that this integer was negative then we're gonna change it to be a positive and then repeat the same process for the solution if the input integer was positive. After that we're gonna have the reversed integer. We're gonna check if the status at the beginning was negative. If yes, we're gonna add change to reversed integer to be negative reversed integer and then return it. So let's jump as code in the solution. First we check if the input is negative. We initialize a variable called is negative and we set his value to be false. Then if true that the input are negative, we change the value of the variable is negative to be true and change the input integer to be positive. Then converted the integer to a string, create an empty string to store the reversed integer, start iterating throughout the string in reverse order means starting from the last character and add each character to the reversed string variable. After the loop finished, convert the reverse string back to an integer and check if the input integer was negative, change it back to negative integer, but this time is reversed integer. And we set another condition to check if the reversed integer is within the range of 32 bit signed integer, we return 0. Finally, we return the reversed integer. So this solution has a time complexity of O of n where n is the number of digits in the integer. This is because the solution iterates throughout the digit of the integer once. And the solution has base complexity of O of n because it uses a string to store the reversed integer which has a size equal to the number of digits in the integer. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.